It's a brisk night. You're out with your friends, meeting up at a local restaurant. One of your friends chimes in that she has a friend flying in from Germany. She's excited, talking about going rafting, among other plans. The date is June 23rd, 1995. A few days later, you get a phone call. One of your friends is on the other line. They're panicked, crying, telling you that something happened. Something awful happened. And finally, through muffled cries, they inform you that your friend, Barbara Hollick, has gone missing. You collect yourself, trying not to panic. You pull up to Rosarita Lane, where you discover that not only is Barbara's car still parked, but that the front door to her apartment is wide open. With a burst of excitement, anxiety, and confusion, you all leap out of your vehicle and enter inside. But instead of finding Barbara, Instead of relieving the anxiety and confusion, you're only led to more devastation and more confusion. Barbara Hollick isn't here, but her belongings, including her passport, ID, keys, and thousands of dollars, still lay strewn about. It's as if nothing happened, as if Barbara was here one second, gone the next. The only thing that even suggested that she was missing, aside from her job, was one pair of gloves. One single glove lay on the floor in front of the fridge, and the other glove lay by the front door. That is all. As of this moment, you nor any of your friends will hear from Barbara ever again. In fact, no one will ever hear from Barbara. Not her family, no anonymous tips to the police department, nobody. But it doesn't quite stop there. It was soon discovered that a pair of Barbara's shoes were located in another apartment within her building. Turns out, Barbara had access to this vacant apartment, supposedly for minor main keeping when the maids were gone. When investigating this new apartment, it's discovered that the phone line had been cut, and the mattress, for whatever reason, is completely removed. But any evidence of Barbara being there had already been cleaned up as a maid had already wiped every service down, destroying any chances of finding out what happened to Barbara Hollick. Barbara is described as a petite, built Caucasian female with black hair and brown eyes. She spoke with a German accent, and her hair was waist length at the time of her disappearance. The only ties to Barbara's disappearance was that she was born in Germany, where her family still lives, and that she had come to the United States illegally. Yet, no one from immigration had tracked her, nor were they even aware of her presence in the States. Furthermore, Barbara was quite popular in the town of Taos for her artistic skills, so it's safe to possibly assume that, although she was known for being shy, she wasn't a recluse. And the last tie we can conjure about her disappearance was the rumored mysterious friend, or a group of friends, that were traveling from Germany to New Mexico. Barbara was apparently expecting this friend to arrive in a few days on the night of June 23rd, just before her disappearance. She had even purchased tickets so that her and her friend or friends could go rafting together. Barbara was described as a quiet, shy, and very organized individual, and it was stated to be very unlike her to just up and leave without warning nor goodbyes. Barbara wasn't behaving unusually prior to her disappearance, nor was she dating anyone, and there's no evidence that she had ever left the United States. The mysterious friend remains anonymous, Barbara remains unfound, and with Germany having multiple issues involving human trafficking, foul play is suspected, and the case of Barbara Hollick remains unsolved. 
Barbara Hollick was born March 24th, 1962. As of the time of this upload, she would now be 60 years old. All links and sources will be listed in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters, who get early access to all my videos before they go public. Anyway, if you would like, please subscribe and leave a comment on what you think I should cover next. Any and all support really helps the channel out. I hope you enjoyed your stay, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.